Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. It's me, Clinton, joined by my lovely friend, Debbie, here to give you another rundown of what we've been up to. <laughs> how you doing? That's already. <laughs> <laughs> how, how you doing? Good, yeah. Um, I cleaned my car for the first time since I bought it seven years ago. Wow. Um, on Sunday, so I may have pulled an intercostal muscle doing so. <laughs> rigorously trying to get all the dirt <laughs> <seven> <laughs> years do you know what though and I thought this is really cute because don't get me wrong it was filthy right yeah. it's a little red car so it's quite good at not showing up too much dirt that's what I was wondering how did you get away with it so, for so long well because really cars are quite self-cleaning to an extent we have a lot of rain in the UK we have so a lot of rain so that does help a yeah. lot of the big dirt comes off but Obviously, in the crevices, it was wild. Yeah. Um, and I should have brought up the little... So I had a little sprout growing out of the... In between the windscreen wipers. Wow. I, I called her Grooty, right? Yeah. Just one tiny little sprout. And I was like, oh, well, I don't want to get rid of it. And yeah. this was a few months ago. So I took it out and I planted it in a little pot. Okay. Oh my God, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be big. Um, so... <laughs> What happens if it's the plant from um what's that what's that book movie um Seymour Little Shop of Horrors Little Shop of Horrors <laughs> Feed me Seymour <laughs> Feed me Seymour <laughs> I mean she's only asked for water at the moment so. yeah okay <laughs> but a couple of my friends from work who've obviously been in my car was like oh my god I came my car for the first time in seven years and they were like what yeah is that wrong with your car and I was like huh. And they were like, I've been in your car. Like, I would never have known that you yeah. haven't cleaned it in seven years. And I was like, well, I'm very tidy. Yeah. I just haven't, like, physically cleaned the outside. <laughs> I'm not sure you're expecting, like, seven years worth of rubbish in there. Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty amazing. I'm sure people will think when you haven't cleaned your car in seven years, they're probably thinking about hoarders. And you see those people who have, like, everything in their car. And, <laughs> and don't like... get me wrong, like, previous cars... You know, I've I always love my fruit, right? So I'd yeah, eat yeah. apples, I'd eat bananas, and I would potentially leave the apple core and the banana skin in the car, <laughs> uh, and forget to take it out at times. So I swore okay. when I got this one, yeah, I would never do that, and I've been true to my word. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I should look beautiful. <laughs> that, that that is a that, that's a, that's a record, I think. <laughs> I know. I know it's mad it was very it was very therapeutic um and I actually spotted a pond cleaning um that my two back tires needed to be changed immediately okay <laughs> a smooth bowl on the outside yeah. so, uh, <laughs> yeah. got those done on Tuesday so. okay cool yeah, yeah. I'm a legal geek I guess all, it's all so. that wheel, all that wheel spinning you were doing <laughs> donuts man yeah <laughs> So, um, how, so how's it been this week because i know it today is of, of course uh deadpool and wolverine eve it is indeed do you know what i thought it was next week i thought it was thursday or friday yeah well everything i've seen said august yeah and so i was like i said to my friend today at work i was like no 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 it's next week and she's like i'm pretty sure my friend's going on thursday like what are you talking about <laughs> it's like oh shit um so darling uh so yeah well excited i think you're gonna see it potentially Maybe 10 my, hours before my, i will <laughs> yeah my plan i haven't done this for a very long time is to go tonight at the opening there's a 12 p 12, 12 a.m showing and i'm hoping i can wake up and be there although i've got to start work tomorrow at 6 30 a.m so it's on tonight it's on tonight what even though it's wednesday yep because obviously they're breaking what? it straight straight into thursday eve it's mad. But yeah, Thursday morning, yeah. Oh, wowzers. So yeah, midnight. Of course, show. so it will show us Thursday, but it will show oh yes. Yeah. Oh my god. So BH2. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five screens at zero 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 one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I wonder how many people are in that. Uh the recliners sold out in that screen. <laughs> sold out. Uh sold out in that recliner screen. Well, I'm thinking, I, I was thinking I won't have, because of the time. And where oh I'm, my God, I'm in, dude, I'm big London. screen. Only the grey ones are left. Yeah. I yeah, appreciate you. Are you in London or in Bournemouth? I'm, I'm in London. So I'm thinking, oh, I didn't oh, think okay. I, have to, I have to book. But what I'll do is when we finish this, I'm going to book. If not, someone's getting removed from their seat. Yeah. And the police are going to have to get me out. 
I'm going to go Friday. Um, Okay. I believe my friend that I go with does not watch this podcast, so they won't know that I've gone before I go and see it with them. Okay. Right. This, this will be the one week they were like, oh, Debs, I didn't know you had a podcast. Be <laughs> like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, don't watch this one. It's no good. Watch. Uh... <laughs> It's all right. Be, this one will be out on Friday. It'll be out on Friday anyway. So by then, then you might not see it till Saturday. So you're, you're 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 fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. But yeah, very excited. I've hardly watched any, even of the actual trailer, Yeah. because I just don't want any spoilers. I want to literally have it smack me in the face, you know, Yeah. when I first watch Yeah. it. The, So. the trailers that I have uh, seen so far, you know, they've been pretty tame. There's a few bits in there, but you never know. Sometimes. Good films will show you something and then completely change it within the movie. And, you know, Ryan Yeah. Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds, he's a veteran at this now, and he knows how much these films mean to the fans. So I'm, I'm guessing, you know, they wouldn't put out the complete meat and potatoes. Not like how um, the Sony Marvel. ruined their movies by doing that and I think they Yeah. have learned from it um but it was certainly I think the response to their films would have been so much better had they not given so much away and tried to tease you like they should be confident that enough people want to go and see it just Yeah. based on the characters yeah So, uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, like I said, I haven't done it in years. Hopefully, I can get. Uh, I'll set the alarm. I have been up since five thirty this morning, but I might have a have a little like siesta Oh, after this. maybe like a like <laughs> a power nap or something. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, at my age, a power nap could easily turn into a quick six hour stretch. yeah yeah maybe a little alarm just even though it'll be horrible to wake up to an alarm um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah good times good times ahead yeah. So obviously, I won't spoil it. I won't spoil anything until you, <laughs> to, for at least two weeks. yeah At least, at least, real, at least real, at least real. watching quite early so I reckon next week we can talk about it Yeah, I think a lot of real fans will um, have seen it within the first two weeks. yeah definitely do you know what and I was saying to my friend who's not really big into movies but she is she's got better at being able to sit through a film Okay. like she didn't even have the attention span for that before it was just not her thing she was like oh I haven't really heard you like talk about films or even everybody talking about films and anything that they're super so apart from June which I know you weren't a big fan of but Yeah. to me I think that recently has been the only big big one maybe other than bad boys but Yeah. that people were even But talking about yeah, even bad boys, there wasn't the huge not sort that of much like hype right anticipation. Yeah. yeah It's sort of like You went through a couple of months and all of a sudden you heard, oh, Bad Boys 4 is coming out. And you're like, yeah okay, cool. But like Deadpool, you've been waiting for, since this was announced maybe last year. Yeah. You've just been And sat it used there. to be, yeah. Because I haven't felt this excited since probably probably the first Avengers movie. I'll say Infinite, That's I'll so say maybe good. Endgame, Endgame probably. And like this, I Yeah. could say that I'm obviously like the, back then the Dark Knight movies. Yeah, maybe a spidey or two thrown in for good measure. Uh, Guardians, I always get excited about. Um, but yeah, I like I have not tech. So there's like a group of us that used to go together. Um, and it's not quite the same anymore. A couple of them have got kids and stuff. But, you know, God, we would be like, oh, my God, it's on, it's on. Book your tickets, book your tickets. And like everybody would get in or I'd buy like six and then everybody would pay me back. So we were Yeah. all sat together. Um, it's just, yeah, it hasn't been like that for so long. Um, I've missed it. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's, it's... I think since COVID really sh shot everything in the foot. Really did, yeah. 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 And then again, like it's not like we've had anything incredible. No. You know, it used That's to a every that's year that's there a problem. used to be like three or four that you'd be like buzzing for. Yeah. Yeah, Um you're wishing you're wishing your life away saying, come on next year, come on Yeah, next year. I literally just want 2025 to get in. And it's like even annoying that they've just announced that the next season of um, The Boys won't be out till 2026. I'm like, for God's sake, I Uh, can't 2025 be two years older. <laughs> yeah, I can't be two years older. mm. we can talk about that in our uh community yeah but at least we've got so we've got Wolverine <laughs> Deadpool or Deadpool Wolverine and yeah. then Gladiators the next one that I'm Gladiator. super excited about mm. And the only other thing I can think of is the... Um, The Rohirrim, uh, the Lord of the Rings, but that's going to be an animation like comes out in December. My sister's going to watch Long Legs. Um, Yeah, I've seen the trailer for that, and it looks pretty creepy. yeah, she's like, oh, I'll let you know whether or not. And I'm like, I think it's even going to scare you, Sissy. And anything that scares you, I'm not going to do. <laughs>
<laughs> if the lover of horrors is scared, then I think it's yeah. a note from me. <laughs> yeah. Apparently it is one of the scariest. Okay. And that's wow. what they're tapping it as. So and uh, because the girl who's in it actually had so she wore a heart rate monitor. Yeah. And when she first saw because I'm pretty who's the bad it's not Nick Cage, is it? Well, in this movie long legs. Yeah, who's the baddie? Who's sure. the long legs? When she first saw him in costume, her mm-hmm. heart rate jumped up from normal to 171. <laughs> wow. And she even knew it was him in there. So I'm like, how fucking bad is it? <laughs> <laughs> who's the cast? The... Oh, it is Nicolas Cage. He plays Yeah, longer. yeah. She also did say that you and I have missed out on his recent good movies because... They are slightly creepier. So okay. we wouldn't have watched them, but she was like, oh my God, he's done some really good films in the last few years. It's okay. just not our genre. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <All> so right. <laughs> we missed out. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. I think... I'll do with this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So what's happened this week? Um, obviously, we you, did, you watched The Boys finale, right? I did, yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah yeah uh, shit <laughs> yep yeah, i know you know where, where do we where do we start i think i'll start with uh ashley how's it <laughs> oh my god oh my what? god what is she gonna become that's what i was thinking like i've been uh like when i was watching it and i saw her head start to like grow i was thinking like do you know what it reminded me of? You know, in Toy Story with the, the baby's head on the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think with her, if you look at how her character's been, like, if it sort of, like, bounces... like So, like, obviously, um, Butcher's got this new power and it's always just, like, very toxic. I think Ashley's quite... She's been quite toxic in ways in regard to, like, how she deals with everything. Yeah. So I'm wondering if she's going to become some kind of, like... Hulk like character or something. Yeah, almost like maybe explosive. So a bit like oh god, so much happened in that episode. <laughs> yeah. Um uh yeah, maybe like not much, but then it, like it builds up. Yeah. And then like something happens. Well, when like, her head's like growing, I was thinking, is she gonna be like a character called the leader in um who's in uh, Marvel where he's like super brainy like and super smart? But I just don't know if she's if she's gonna be like But I reckon they already had the smart girl, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Still she's pretty crazy. clever. I, I, feel, gonna be in it. I feel like she's going to be like a like a She-Hulk or something. Yeah. Oh, and that wig came off. I know. No. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was difficult. And then we had the moment of that we've all been waiting for. Um, the, the the holy union of uh, yeah. Kimiko and. <laughs> yes, I actually cheered. Oh. I actually cheered. I was like, yes, yes. Like, oh my god, so happy. I was like, Even though it's the most short-lived happiness ever. Yeah. I was like, get him tested, but yes. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, mate. That was, it's, oh. been long, it's been a long time coming, that has. Yeah. So, and then obviously, okay, we'll talk about her yeah. bit because it was the really big right at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm the glad shape- Huey worked out. The, oh, sh- the shapeshifter. Face was sh- yeah. Oh, my God. That scene where happening. she's in bed and her ring starts, her finger starts disintegrating. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really liked it though. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, well, just and... as much as Huey, or um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is definitely be a topic of conversation then for the next few months. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, who was like good, who... yeah. different, <laughs> <laughs> what stuff. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm obviously super glad that she did come around. She was like, you're getting tested. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, fuck yeah, I'm back in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's not my fault. She looks exactly. Like, it's, it's, like one of those, it's like one of those dilemmas that, you know, women give their boyfriends every now and then. Like, would you still love me if I was an aunt? Or like some shit like that. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least she looked exactly like her. It's yeah, yeah. Exactly it... like her. <laughs> exactly. You know, many times he's ever going to get away with it, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was mad. My sister started was watching. Has been going through it 
uh, she obviously just, was just catching up. She, I think she was just waiting for all the episodes to come out before she watched it. Yeah, and she watched the first ep second episode with um the multiple man. Oh she yeah. Rang, she rang me straight away and she was like, What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good one though. Like, I haven't really seen that before. So again, I like the fact that they introduced things that we'd not had. Yeah, I know, but it was <laughs> That was annoying because how do you tell the original until you see them popping out of the original? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you? So I thought, oh no, they're never going to get him. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, you killed Prime. <laughs> <laughs> and um, thingy's thing out of his chest. What his? Oh bag, yeah. He finally got to see it. Yeah, once he's finally given in to uh, to 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 the, to the Kessler um version of himself. Yeah. Um, what I found though is. Who's more annoying, Ryan or Joffrey? Because <laughs> to me, everything about Ryan annoys me. From his, his voice to his little haircut. Oh, I know. They've made him like... Oh, I don't even know how to say it. Um, they've made annoying. him like wussy. They've made him wussy, yeah. right? Even though yeah. he's super strong. But it's not even like his morals are that good. No. I was like... Like, you've not even made him, like, a good good. Yeah, like, yeah. full on good. You've made him just fucking irritating and whinging. That's whinging. The they give you, They're giving him the, the Joffrey effect. Like... Oh, he's... Joffrey is, is possibly the worst ever yeah. um, in the history of television. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was but... so happy when he died. And I was so glad how he died. Yeah. And so glad that it bothered his mum that much. Yeah. So it, <laughs> it came to the point, like, with, with Ryan, it's like, I don't care what happens to him. Like I know it's obviously in, t in TV. Obviously, it's, you know, you don't want to see like a, a something happening to a kid. But I don't mind with him. No, well, because he can protect himself as well. Like yeah. I was like, sorry for a spoilers, but I was like, why the fuck didn't Thingy kill the daughter as well? Like, yeah. why are you just knocking her out for? She can literally kill people. <laughs> I know. With her, with I don't her, care if she's a kid. With her, her. Razor, with her razor tentacle mouth, it's like. Ugh. Yeah, she could take people out like. So that's obviously coming back to haunt us. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, it was, it was really strange. Like, with, with Ryan, like, obviously, I I feel like, yeah, like, last last season, I felt sorry for him. Like, when Soldier Boy punched him in the head, I was like, oh, crap. Like, yeah. this season, I'm like, eh, maybe he deserves it. Well, because he's not done anything to try to harness the power. No. You might not want to use it, mate, but you need to, so that you don't kill people that you don't want to kill. Yeah. Then... Fucking learn to control it. Yeah, and then he just, and then obviously, well, every time he does something a little bit evil, he gets that little look on his face, like, hmm. Yeah, they are less, they are lesser than me. It, that didn't feel too bad. Exactly. It really irritated me in that room, especially with her, because like she's done mm. nothing but look after him and protect him. Yeah. Um, from the start, and it's just yeah, exactly. And only really, I wish she'd have just pressed the button sooner, but then we wouldn't be where we are. No. Um, um, and then, obviously, after the joy of Kimiko... Yeah, I know. Then all of the bad shit starts happening. He create, he gets all the other soups. Yeah. And they start picking them. I honestly thought one of them was going to make it. I was like, oh, it's all right, because, oh, my God, no, they've got yeah, them as well. The, oh, no, it's okay. Like... Oh, my God, no, they've got them. And out of all people they send after MM, they send Love Sausage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out of all the characters they could send, it had to be like sausage. And he had to knock him out with his uh, sausage. <laughs> this fucking massive penis. <laughs> Taps him on the shoulder and then knocks him out. I know, he's going to be so good. <laughs> uh, I wonder if they're going to have like some Zimfazel uh, or whatever, his, um, some alcohol rub for him to like when he wakes up. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then it's obviously... always sorry, it's always MM who gets the, yeah. the most yeah. heinous things happen to him. And then the big, well, two revelations. One, she loves, um, she loves him so much. I can't think of his name. Kimiko's guy. Oh, Frenchie. Frenchie. She I spoke. Like, oh, Frankie. She yeah. loves him so much. She managed to get out a thing. But and I was yeah. like. Oh my god! It's he's definitely going to hear it because it's like the one thing he needs to hear. No, no. but he was he's hypnotized. Um, that because have you seen Generation V yet? No. Okay, no. So, that's, so that's why you might have not known who those characters are. When that character mm. who took him away, she her power is that she when she Whisper, touches you, she? 
she touches she touches you she can whisper something in your ear and you'll do what she says and until then it's over until the thing she's asked you to do is over yeah pretty much and then the other character who was holding Kamiko who's you know he's super strong he's one of the main characters that was in the in generation V he's her, he's their brother and like he's completely crackers like he's like almost as bonkers as the old black noir okay so he sees all those characters and all that sort of stuff you need to watch generation v to understand what i'm yeah talking about yeah i do need to go on it um and then obviously the piece de resistance at the end yeah Butch in his it. cryogenic whatever yeah so i think i think uh i don't know if he's going to wake him up but there is a chance to wake him up for season five and i, I wonder if he's going to like try and figure out why soldier boy doesn't age and why he ages Mm, yes oh we might ask to swap places and then that would be a good way for them to like put poison in the thing or something yeah because i i want because obviously i think there's a lot of stuff going on with uh oh the funniest scene was when that um firecracker was coughing next to <laughs> homelander and he was just looking at her like get away from me that's Move how i look down. when people cough at that's work how, yeah that's how i do <laughs> I'm like, I don't even mind it. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Go home. Yeah. Like, <laughs> get move. And he's like, germs what? away from me. Further. Yeah. It was like, further. Yeah, I'm hanging, I'm hanging. <laughs> so, she's not going to be able to do that forever, is she? No. Like, and you know, when they're trying to kill everyone and she's like, she can't even run anymore. So she just has to shoot people. And the deep, when he punches through that guy's head. Oh, I know. Especially when I thought, like, he was that dumb that he yeah. was going to be like, oh, yeah, I don't mind. And yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Like, you just kind of forget, like, the, you know, like how powerful Deep actually is. Obviously, he's, 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 put, 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 he's a bit of a moron, but he is still a soup soup. And he the fact that he's part of the seven. Wrong. Yeah, part like, of the seven. Yeah, yeah. He's just his so little... easily led, isn't he? Yeah. Like, <laughs> So even that little beatdown that he had with um, Star, um, Starlight. In the, the office, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing a bit more of what Black Noir, Black Noir could do because you know obviously he um obviously after he killed that guy you know he got he got his uh, violence boner you know <laughs> <laughs> All right. it was very good very yeah. very good well the episode always boner <laughs> I can actually see the boner I feel like the costume kept in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, here's a scenario. You've just heard that they're taking everyone apart, killing everyone. You have the opportunity to take Comp V or Temp V. Would you take it? Yeah. You would? Yeah. Because that was playing <laughs> I'm around. I'm not good at running, even though I've been doing it for nine weeks, right? Yeah. I can't get away from them. <laughs> yeah. I can only hide in so many things. Uh... Yeah, I was, uh, I was playing it over my head because the thing is about when you take the V, obviously Temp V... Not, and comfy, you don't know what your power is going to be. You don't. And I, I weirdly like that in a way, but I think at least it would protect you for a little bit. And I think you don't get super ill if you just take one lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. If you take, I think, I think, I think if you took the, the temp V, you get quite ill, which is what happened to Butcher. But yeah. if you take comp V, it's more, more of a permanent thing. And it's been refined to so that adults could take it. Where yeah. other, obviously normally kids 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 get it. But... I would I would keep it mm. until I felt really scared, and then I would probably take it if I felt I needed to defend myself. Yeah, I like the fact with um the boys with the when it comes to taking the the temp v or the comp v, or even the fact they give it to the kids. I like the fact that the boys show you never know when your powers are going to manifest, how they're going to manifest. Because when you, yeah. you, you know, we've been fans of like um, DC and Marvel and so on for years. And it just seems like these characters just, you know, they develop their powers. Everything's fine. Super control. I like the fact the boys say, well, you don't know what your power is going to be. It can no. manifest at any point. And they've shown how bad things can be when certain pow powers have manifested. Yeah, because they're not even like nice powers. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them usually are obviously fairly destructive powers. Yeah um and so and and how would that genuinely make you feel yeah like if i knew that something was in me like what was in butcher yeah. that would come out like where does that go yeah those things just like sloshing around inside of him like waiting to come out yeah 
that's the thing. Like, oh, yeah, got yeah, but shocking. But then, yeah, yeah there's you might get a really shit one. Yeah, because there's a co- in the comic one of uh, a family friend of Huey's. She's got a massive tapeworm, mm. and it's kind of like the tentacle. Big enough. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of like the tentacles that come out of butcher. And in the in the comic, like Huey stops talking for ages. Because obviously the the woman that comes around and she passes away on the toilet, but the fucking tapeworm <laughs> is staring at him. <laughs> you know, so yeah. you know, obviously I, it's kind of like when they take the the, the comp V, something maybe something inside you triggers or part of your personality triggers it, mm. and like and it's like yeah. what do you do? How do you know it's going about to happen? And that first time something happens. Yeah, because also it doesn't like it's totally you're right. It's totally unique to you because it's not like anybody has exactly the same. No. Every single one of those soups has got something different. Yeah. Similar, maybe, but something different. And so you can't even be like, oh, if, if you'd have taken Butcher's one, you'd have had the tentacles. It just wouldn't have worked like that. Yeah. So I it's think... like your reaction to it rather than it being a specific. Yeah, because there was one set of twins uh in the boys that were you saw them at heroism they had similar powers because they shared the same dna yeah yeah and like sort of huey and his dad they had they of course got similar dna obviously huey was like teleport and then when his dad sort of had powers where he could like sort of like just vibrate through things isn't it so yeah and i guess homelander and bloody ryan I can't that. remember what um the lady that got ripped in half. I can't remember what her powers were. Were they similar to her daughter's? The lady that got ripped in half. I can't remember. Yeah, butcher ripped her in half. The president lady. Oh yes. So no, because um Victoria Newman she can control, she can control blood. Oh. So her power is controlling blood, and that's why they call her the head popper. She can do the head popping stuff because she just increases the pressure, the blood oh. pressure in your head. And say, you... I don't remember seeing a lot of her. It's like not recently. Yeah. So I feel like Samir, the her husband, where hit where she the daughter got that sort of like tentacle mouth thing. Yeah, which is quite different. Mm. It's quite different. But then if you look at the the rabbit that had it in uh that butcher where but that butcher killed, and also butcher got similar tentacle powers. So I don't know if that, that could be a certain strain that yeah. sort of maybe turned your intestines or something into like <laughs> worms people pulling apart yeah things let's think like my like, a-train the first time his powers kick in what was he doing just like running for this bus or something and all of a sudden just like runs <laughs> through it or something that would be the only time i would enjoy running and it would yeah. also mean that you get to consume a lot of calories <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can be like another croissant thank you yeah. I don't that later. <laughs> <laughs> you remember season two or season three where season two when he lost his powers a little bit and then you just kept still eating the same amount of calories and started getting fat and homelander was like uh you, you gonna <laughs> eat that you, are you still gonna drink that really <laughs> oh you've homelander stop body shaving him <laughs> <laughs> it's true though like it would be one of the only reasons why i would like to yeah. be super fast and i can <laughs> yeah so yes yeah, it's, it's really it's, i find it interesting because obviously when you see how certain superheroes get their powers in like say marvel you know, it's always an accident or they're struck by lightning or they fall into a vat of something, you know, yeah. it's always, it's always, you know, or you're a super smart scientist, someone double crosses you and throws some solution on you. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, with comp V, like even as a baby, all of a sudden, you, you, you know, your powers start manifesting as a baby. You have no control over anything. No. And they don't know. They yeah. have no clue what you're going to be either. Yeah. I like to imagine my daughter, my baby daughter, she's got it now. She's got like, you know, super strength. And like, you know, babies like grab your finger or touch your nose. And then she just pulls my face off. <laughs> Hulk and Loki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I, it'd be interesting. I don't know. Obviously, I'd always be amazing to have superpowers. But the fact that you take comfy and not know what might come out of it. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah insane unless I you know I took it and I got on my motorbike and all of a sudden I can just control vehicles by just touching them <laughs> that would be quite cool though right that would be, that'd be amazing yeah. <laughs> feel more like a transformer yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
or or, or I just taken it and I've been like really hungry and I just had to have a croissant and my power is just like I can just turn into a croissant. Another little munch on yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could make t like food bigger. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. I would take all the fat and sugar out of chocolate. Yeah. That would be my power. Like, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was a, it was a very political um, episode um, this week, and obviously I saw they had to put the disclaimer on due to obviously the events that. Yeah, I saw place. that. I was like, off <laughs> yeah. don't need to be to say we know it's not fucking real but they're, 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 it's tough don't forget the show is american so yeah but yeah. anybody with two fucking dimes to run to get rubbed together knows that a it's not real and b it would have been recorded fucking months ago <laughs> <laughs> i it's know pathetic. but like i said it, it is it is an american show so just to make sure that you know that they have this upset, film... get over yourself <laughs> If you get upset, you shouldn't even be watching the boys. Because <laughs> yeah. come on. Because you're bound to get upset. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, sorry. I did think that was just so... that that is what the world has become. Yeah. No, but yeah, it was I, it was, it was a great episode. You know, I am gonna miss it until it comes out. Obviously, I'm looking oh, forward to the next episode of the next season of Gen V as well, because that'll be the that'll be just be the appetizer before the final season. Okay. All right. Yeah, so <laughs> let's jump into top three yes so top three was given by a friend of yours uh man manager right my sister's team manager yeah um i think it's trevor just going back through the gazillion messages we send each other yeah terry i'm so sorry oh, it's terry, terry. <laughs> Did Terry of you yes. or did he just find did your sister just tell him about I think she's told him and um he has watched some because he loves all the animations that you love. Okay. And he's big into movies and everything. So I think he will be a, an avid fan, hopefully certainly after his episode today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah. So today's actor is it's quite an interesting one. He's been around for years. He's got a huge library of um of movies. Mm. You know, I wouldn't say he's, you know, a, a, the best thespian. <laughs> but he knows he's not. He knows he's not, and he ha he knows his, his strengths. Yeah, he knows his niche, and he he works he works well with it. Yeah, I have. I should have said to you beforehand. I've got okay. So for everybody, one of my favorites <laughs> is Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Beautiful man. He's a be yep. beautiful man. <laughs> beautiful martial arts man. Yeah. Actually, he usually live next door to one of my clients, actually. <gasps> oh, my God. I literally would have turned into an absolute window-licking cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he just seems so nice. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he seems like a cool dude, doesn't he? You know, obviously... You know, you know, he dates Rosie Hunterton Whiteley. So, you know, you tend to be, I think he must be quite happy. Well, he started dating Kelly Brooks. So, you know, he had a, yeah. quite a high thing to go from, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> I was so sad when they split up. I, I yeah. know it was years and years and years ago. Yeah. But I was like, you fucking left Statham for Billy yeah. Zane. Are you kidding yeah. me? And honestly, it irritated me for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But you know he's done. He's oh done. Very, he's done very well for himself. <laughs> oh, he certainly has. He's so lovely. Um, for, so and I know we don't. We haven't discussed our top three. Obviously, I can't have my favorite favorite as my number one because I've used it for somebody else. Okay. But there's two films that score over eight on IMDb, and I think those two should be put in their own thing, and we should have to pick from the rest of his catalog. Okay. All right. <laughs> I know which one you're saying. You're you're saying. I'm thinking which week. I'm trying to remember which week we men might mention that one in. Uh, Melissa McCarthy. Oh, that one. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, no, that fine. would have that... been like because I fucking love that film. Yeah, that, that's 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 up there in my honorable mentions. Yeah. Okay, so which ones did you want to put into a special category? I feel mm -hmm. that Snatch. Yeah. And Lockstock. Yeah should be put in the golden category because not many films score over eight on IMDb. You know what? I'm happy with that. Although <gasps> I did put I did put Snatching as my number three. 
Yeah. I, they are great and yeah. he is great in them, but yeah. I'm like, oh, they're so because most of his other ones are like six, between yeah. six and seven. Yeah. Um, and so I felt it was a more, which is why I found it harder, because I was like, well, they're not even Snatch and Thingy aren't actually my favorite necessarily of him, but they are such good films. They kind of yeah. have to stand in the right. Oh, yeah, they are they are British classics. They're cult movies, right? British classics, some of the best one-liners mm. ever. There's very hardly any people sort of like our age and maybe a couple of years younger who would, if you said a certain reference, um, wouldn't know where it's from. Yeah. Fantastic cast, obviously, for both. So, yeah, if you are, that would be okay, cool. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to move. So, obviously, I put Snatch in just because of the, the other two. And I had I put it down as watchability. But yeah, Snatch was my number three. Yes. Um, um, Lockstock was in my, like my high, high, like I put my honorable mentions in a certain order. And that was up. Yeah. <laughs> Near the high ones, so that's cool. I could put in a number, and I could throw in another one into my uh, top, into my third spot. So, do you want to go with your third third one if you want to? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for number three, I have. Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, Wrath of Man. Wow, that is oh. my number one. <laughs> okay okay i'll do my well i had t i had two really really close so i'll do the other one and then that's you fine no we'll do, we'll do, we'll do wrath of man now because it's fine yeah <laughs> i the guy oh. richie guy richie movie yeah i really enjoy this one well as really watchability wise it. if you go through his whole catalog when it comes down to obviously a lot of his films are this similar but that's why i love them i love yeah. him as this type of character yeah but this one just had a special place of badassery mm. was this it, like lone man badassery yeah. again isn't it yeah. yeah and there was it was there was a twist in the story like you didn't know exactly who he was and what he was who? about yeah you know good I'm cast hoping... again as well decent cast yeah yeah well you had hartnett in there you had scott eastwood yeah you yeah know, who's um... that older guy was that him which one uh, Holt McCallany. Now, oh, yeah, I yeah, wouldn't know that was his name, but yeah. I know the oh, yeah, guy, yeah. yeah, the actor. He's, he's been in loads <laughs> of movies. Yeah. Andy, Andy Garcia. It was just, it was a, it was a Guy Ritchie heavy hitter. Yeah. I yeah. loved him in it. I loved him in it. He's so good. It's just why I always say to people, like, if I could have pick somebody, it would be him because I'd feel so safe. Yeah. <laughs> Like he's he, in that his his moves are so slick. Mm. Like I said, I loved it. I loved the fact that it was that twist. I loved the fact that it was very an after a while near the ending, it was a very enclosed movie, so everything had to be yes. taken had yeah. to take place in a, in a short amount of short amount of space. Yeah, which is so much harder to make it interesting and engaging. Still, right? Because there's yeah. not that much. Not that there's not that much going on, but I think it's so much. They do a much better job when they can make mm. it good when it's only, you know, yeah. little like that. Yeah. And even like this, the beginning, obviously, where you, um, obviously a spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, there's a part where obviously his, um, in one, two, three, yeah, where his, his son, when his son dies, yeah. you automatically feel this sort of like, oh, I've seen this kind of happen before, but here mm -hmm. I want, I really want him to get his own back. Mm. Yes. This is way before yeah. knowing what kind of character he is. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, so I'm so sorry. That was your thingy. That's all right. That's, but it, it shows, shows top three. It's you know, I mean, it chopped and changed <laughs> for everyone. But it's, it's, it's right up there. So yeah, definitely. Wrath of Man. Yeah. That's my, that was my number one. Your number three, but fantastic film. All awesome. right. So I, if I'm moving Snatch into the golden category, my I'll move my number three then. I'd say looking at the list... If I had to choose, it's I'm so go... tricky because most of my honourable mentions I love in the same amount. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with Beekeeper. As my number <gasps> That's three, my number two. I love that one because again, you make he makes you feel. It gave me the same feeling that I had when I watched Harry Brown. When I watched Harry Brown, I oh. love the fact that it is something that's happening in the world now. Yeah. Harry Brown had like little street hoods this had hackers and people who are taking who, who were tricking older people or yeah. older 
constantly taking advantage, but it is mostly them that do get it, unfortunately. Yeah. And it's, you know, taking advantage of people who just don't know the yeah. technology and stuff like that. And I like the fact that he was trained enough to go in there and deal with the situation. God, I was obsessed with how good he was. I absolutely loved it. I loved the moral aspect of it and how yeah. much he loved that old lady yeah. and how she trusted him, even though he was a guy that could have, you know, taken her house and her money. But yeah. And so it was hard, obviously, for the daughter. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah, she didn't understand. She thought, you know, this. It. Yeah, this guy. But obviously, she's she's still an officer. So like, certain things can't go down, no matter how much, no matter how much you want them to happen. But I feel like she should still should have trusted him. She should mm. have got that gut instinct. But and I loved how careful he was with the bees. I loved mm. that he would bring her the honey. Oh my god, he was so sweet. <laughs> um, and then when um, obviously it's horrible what happens to her. And mm. then when they know that it's him and they come and they fucking fuck those bees up, I was yeah. like, you, right. <laughs> you, you just wait. Fucking you fuck. just wait. <laughs> <laughs> and the first guy, <laughs> the first guy he takes out, he beats the crap out of him, cuts his feet. <laughs> and then launches him into a river. <laughs> yeah, yeah in, in that film, obviously, Jeremy Irons was fantastic. You know, oh. I like I like that kind of character where he's like the old veteran and he's just like explaining to this dumb kid, kind of like almost like John Wick style. We're yeah. like, what did you do? Who did you piss off? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I love that when you when yeah. Like... So yeah, definitely yeah, that's it. Yeah, for me, I'll but if anything I have to if I have to move it into a new spot, beekeeper will be number three. Nice. And I love that because it was my number two. All right, cool. <laughs> So I'll bump up um I'll bump up another one because I I'll keep my fake number one because obviously yeah. spot is my number one, my fake number one, because I have seen it quite a few times, I still love it. Um so um my uh, my number new number two will be the bank job. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um I like him in that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love a heist movie. I think that's kind of the thing. Like, I do love a good, you Everyone, know. I can't think of many people who don't like a heist movie and who wouldn't want to be part of one that you could get away with. Yeah. <laughs> Can they do it? Can they be sneaky enough? What do they yeah. need to use? Like, yeah, it's always like quite Because <laughs> obviously he was in the remake of The Italian Job as well. Yes, Yeah. And I, I forgot how old that movie was because I remember going to see it and I was oh, like, crazy was like old. that was ages ago. Mm -hmm. That's like near when the mini, first, the new minis first came out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, That's even like, the remake is old. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. everyone wanted one of the minis after that. <laughs> yeah. So they have the, the adverts of that, the mini driving up the buildings and stuff like that. It was like, yeah, so. You were like, really, guys? Yeah. No, bank job. That was a good. That was a good film. And like, like I said, a heist movie. Love a heist. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. So my number, my new number two, my number two. This was in here. This film, like you say, he might not be the greatest actor, but again, just like uh, Wrath of Man and stuff like that, the roles you give him, if everything around him is perfect, yeah, it brings the movie up tenfold. Mm -hmm. The movie for me is Homefront. So, oh yes, yeah. So Homefront, you know, he's, you know, he's finished the job. You know, his wife has passed away. It's him and his daughter. They want to get somewhere away from the big city. Get away from you know what the life was beforehand. Yeah. You know, you get the feels. You know, a dad. You know, just trying to make it make best for for him. It's only him, his him and his kids. Himself. Yeah? yeah 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 and obviously his daughter i don't know spoiler alert his daughter is a little badass as well yeah <laughs> a bully a bully tries it with her and i'm hoping my daughter will do the same one day a bully hopefully hopefully there's no bullies by then but you know hey there'll always be bullies unfortunately yeah and you know she drops the bully turns out the bully is the kid of the local meth <laughs> meth king <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> yeah and, and obviously just like all films kind of like that that sort of quiet town that's corrupt or whatever you know 
you know the police sheriff and mm. everyone everyone's in on it sort of thing yeah you know it, it is the same mo for, for a lot of movies but it just depends on how it's delivered i just love him like i love that he's so but it's again how protective right yeah. it's a really protective role um because it's what's his face um james franco james franco is chilling in this. Such a good baddie, isn't he? Such a good baddie. Like, you do not expect him to be a baddie. Obviously, you've seen him, obviously, in um, Spider-Man. Yeah. But this, in this role, he's maniacal. Yeah, doesn't, literally does not care. Yeah. He gave me a lot of Joker vibes in that. Yeah, well, he has kind of got a yeah. bit of a Joker smile, hasn't he? Very big, um, yeah. I thought he was excellent. He is a really good actor. Um, yeah, he was, I think he was, like, you know, he was, he was, su- I think he was super chilling, so intense, mm. you know, so yeah, I think, yeah, if he ever played more roles like that, that mm. I think that's, 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 that's a niche, for, that's a niche for him. Yeah. How yeah, can so, he build the older he gets? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so for, and, and, and the fact is that this movie was um, directed by Sly, Sly Stallone, Sylvester Stallone. No way, I didn't know mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Oh, so I like, Sly. Like, like a lot of the films that we've just talked about and in the honorable mentions. It's either Guy Ritchie, it's either Sly Sloan. It's like he has his his he has his core group that work together. Yeah. You know, because even um, what was it like Snatch? Obviously, he's got the same character. Some of the same characters are in like um, yeah, in a, in a few a few of the movies that he shows up with the, the other the other guy from Snatch as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, have you got your number two? Or have we done it? I've done my number, I've done number two. two. Yeah, yeah, so let's do a few honourable mentions. Oh, I haven't done my number one, though. Your number one? Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so my number one, again, very protective role, yep. um, uh, is... Crank. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were, you, were, you, were you hoping you were grabbed in the market scene? You? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just think about that. For a yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I love this one because he, for no reason, protects this little girl. Um, it's called Safe. Safe? Have I seen this one? Oh, dude, it's so good. So there's this young Chinese, I think she's Chinese. I apologize yeah. if she's, I think she is. Um, and she has got an incredible memory. Okay. And she has remembered like a 150 code like digit digit code okay that is nowhere else other than in her head oh wow um and it's like to a fortune of something like a code thingy um and she literally ends up having like the russian mob Mm. chinese triads like they all come after her and he is literally he's just trying to keep her alive (laughs) (laughs) um and she's a bit untrusting obviously to begin with but then you know they she does start understanding that he is really trying to protect her and he has to keep okay. her safe and stuff. So I love it. Oh, just... I'm going to watch that. I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen that one. Oh dude, it's so good. Again, he's beautiful and perfect in it. So. Yeah. So, I just so... love his fighting. He's such yeah. a good fighter. He's so smooth with it, isn't he? So oh, just, okay. like, just like the moves in that, because obviously I love, I was in honorable mentions. Oh, first, let me before we go into no, I, no we'll, I'll talk about it now. Like so when he did like um, the transporter. In my honourable mentions, love those films. I was a big fan of the transporter. I remember <laughs> one scene in particular was when the floor is covered in oil. He snaps <laughs> off bike, bike, bike pegs. Pedal <laughs> peggies. Yeah, yeah, and he's just walking around <laughs> kicking ass. That, that scene is stuck in my head forever. And and then obviously the um the French detective was great in it as well. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the transporter was right. They up there were really me. good fun. Again, very, and I think he's come a long way from then. Yeah, and you the, know, the, he's the way... a much, he is a better actor than he was. I think they've given him, you know, meatier roles. So yeah, he's, he does have that lovely kind of comedy, cheeky, straight faced element. Yeah, so in he, almost yeah, all of his films, but he, he, did, he, he did make me want to become like a private driver for a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just love knowing that. He is an actual martial artist. So yeah, yeah. all his fighting, he's just incredible at, like, yeah. anyway. 
you know so and then uh, I, I missed one out which one's quite recent and i did enjoy this one it was um operation fortune Oh, I haven't done that one. yeah that's one of his newer ones it's got yeah. josh, josh hartnett in it um Why haven't I done that? bugsy malone hugh grant Twenty twenty three. Oh, I yeah. must have done it. Come on. Oh, yeah, with um, what's her face? Yes, Aubrey. Of yeah, course, yeah. she was. She was a great. Yeah, I love. Yeah, sorry, I have absolutely seen it. Yes. Um. Yeah, I loved that chemistry. Yeah, there was a, it was a re it was a really good like movie. Obviously, it, it does have the elements of like spy, where it's quite there's funny elements. Yeah, yeah. What do they class it as? I always find it interesting to see what they. Oh, yeah, action comedy thriller. Yeah, yeah and, uh, and again, Guy Ritchie. Yeah, loving old bloody what's his face, old Hugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's old he's been great. The last few years, Hugh Grant has been fantastic. He's really come into his own, almost yeah. like playing characters that take the piss out of themselves. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you think of him back in the day with his movies like you know Notting Hill and 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 what's the other one with uh, Martin McCutcheon? Um, oh, where he plays the prime minister. The Christmas one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love actually. Love actually. Like you think about those, but then like now he's just so much cooler. He's so much cooler and so much less like some people do get better looking as they get older. Like for me, George Clooney. Yeah even more good looking now than he was almost brad pitt as well to an extent yeah hugh has not gone that way bless him <laughs> but it hasn't stopped him i like the fact yeah. that he's kind of just embraced him, yeah you know and chosen a different style of character to yeah play. and you see you used to him have hearing that posh act being so posh and then now he's like he just speaks like a Londoner. Yeah. he speaks like a londoner you know uh, uh, right. <laughs> uh, right, right, yeah <laughs> listen here sweetheart yeah. now i'm gonna tell you <laughs> <laughs> I just remember him in the, in the Gentleman, and he was so good in the Gentleman. I bloody love that. Has that yeah. been our top for anything? Yeah, maybe we need to do no, like yeah. something. I don't know. But no, a Hugh Grant, a Hugh Grant. Do Charlie Hunman? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So obviously, we mentioned the Transporter. I had uh, he was he was you know I did like his character in Fast and Furious and Hobbs and Shaw. It was. I mean, I, I like was... his character in it, dude. When he when he. Takes the baby in the plane yeah. and he's fighting yeah. in the plane and keeping the baby safe. Yeah, it's a scene. Yeah, that is a great that is a great action scene actually. Beautiful timing, like come on. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously there's old school ones, like really old. It was a film called War, and there's a film called The One with Jet Li. Now Ooh. this is when he first tried to do his Amer do an American accent, and it was so bad. Oh no, so I haven't seen. So bad. Either. I saw them on his list, but I haven't done them. <laughs> yeah, but the one was one was a, like a great action movie. I remember, I remember, I had it on um, advanced copy DVD um, from the um, from the Prime Asian... Minister of Movies. <laughs> yeah, from, from the uh, from the Asian from the Asian businessman who uh, got advanced copies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we can't not mention the mechanic. The mechanic. Certainly the Great. first one. Loved that film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I enjoyed both of the Megs, so I don't care what <laughs> says. Yeah, I didn't put the Meg down because I thought, I, I cannot possibly. I will put it down. <laughs> yeah. Dude, they're so much fun. Like, again, yeah. it's not taking itself too seriously, so I'm quite happy to be like, yes, yeah, good fun, you know. Yeah. No, um, I also had, so Killer Elite I really enjoyed. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, you should do that one. That one's good. And... One last one I had. I had Death Race. Yes. People oh forget God. about that one for a long time. But like when we when the, when it came through to my mind, and like because sometimes when you tell we come up, we find out about top three, I think about what hits my head straight away. Yeah. And I remember watching that one. You know, it's like a internal Mad Max. <laughs> yeah. You know what? With... I think I struggled with Statham more than others. Mm. Because I felt like the two thingies needed to be on their own and yeah. I couldn't use Spy, I was like, I just like them all the same amount. Yeah. Like, how am I going to pick a top three? This is actually really <laughs> difficult. Um, I totally forgot about Death Race, actually. Yeah, Death Race was like, yeah, like I said, Mad Max mixed with The Running Man and stuff like that. It was just yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Because wasn't that in the prison? Yeah. Yeah. And they had all their, like, souped like, up cars. Uh, can do it. <laughs> yeah, I think Ty Tyrese was in it as well. Yeah, no, yeah. it was... It was an enjoyable watch. Like, I think back in the day, his his action stuff was really was. It wasn't. Mm. You weren't watching it for the act, the acting. 
you're no, watching for no. the action and the smash mouth and the and, and the fight scenes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had Blitz, which I also enjoyed. Blitz. Yeah, I keep Blitz. saying I have. I don't think I've seen it, but I'm guessing I have seen it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Parker. Parker was great. I like him as Parker. Yeah. Um, Expendables again. Expendables, of course. Yeah. For what it is, it's a great fun. Yeah. You know, he, all he, of the. Yeah. How good he is with knives is fantastic. Oh my god! I mean, how good he is with fucking everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one that stressed me out when I was watching it was Crank. Yeah, it Crank really was bothered me. Intense, like you just sat there, like, oh my god, he needs, he's going to die in a minute. He's going to die in a minute. Quick, 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 do something. Banging his girlfriend on the yeah, no, in the market. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's almost like the opposite of what you'd need. The opposite of speed. Yeah, he couldn't go over, right? He yeah, to... he had no. You had to stay above a certain level. Yeah, and start well, dropping. Crank, crank had to have a higher heart rate, right? Yeah, you couldn't even rest. It was awful. Yeah, man, well, it'd like, be terrible I just though. Sleep. Yeah, that's the thing. I think I think I think the uh, the part in the market where he does his girl does his girlfriend that really wouldn't work because as soon as that's done, you're not doing much after that. And you're probably as a guy a little bit sleepy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're not doing much after that. Yeah. You're, you're, you're... So <laughs> yeah. it might have lasted a little bit, mate, but then you need like, something else. <laughs> Yeah, you try, you try, you you do that. You're like, yeah, cool, I'm ready to go, and you try to run for like two minutes, and all of a sudden it's like. <laughs> but I liked the whole. It was quite a new premise, right? Yeah, for yeah. maybe I not really sort of had that sort of thing before. So yeah, yeah I enjoyed that. And obviously, Crank Two was just like you know, it it was what it was. They they just tried to like. Yeah, I only put the first one down. A bit like the mechanic. The mechanic yeah. itself is much better than Mechanic Two, but I still yeah. watched it because he's super yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, Jason Statham, great. Like I said, you know, he is what he is, and we love him for what he is. We do. He doesn't, you know, again, he takes himself seriously enough that he wants to put a good movie out. Yeah. Not seriously knowing that he's not the best actor in the world. He just, you know, yeah. I love him. And he's had a great career, and, you know, we enjoy it. So, Terry, we <laughs> want to know your, what your top three are. So make sure you watch this episode and jot them down for us. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you've been watching anything? Oh my god, so much stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> um, basically, so Saturday I went for a walk. Sunday I cleaned my car, and in between those two things, um, because I've got a sociable weekend this weekend, I I spent plenty of time at home with yeah. my cat. Uh, this this previous one, uh, so. I um I obviously finished off the boys. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Um I watched Supercell. Yes. What do you think? Finished it all in one, loved it. Can't thought, wait to yeah. see the season. Yeah. <laughs> I Again. thought it was better as it went along. I yeah. thought maybe the first episode or two I was like, okay, fine, yeah, a little bit. Is it a bit slow or is it just kind of building? Mm. And then by the end, the fucking last episode, yeah. I was literally like wow what happened you're just like oh my god yeah oh how man how sad was that it didn't work out how we wanted it to mm. <laughs> so i'm like fuck yeah, that, that 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 guy that like, literally that that last you know shot that's sort of, you just sat up to do that what a horrible person you are oh my god but i'm not being funny love how many times do you tell you to f off and go yeah. home <laughs> that's on yeah. you exactly exactly <laughs> I you know, appreciate he, it had to happen so that he had that yeah. element of having to keep going. Yeah. And I just, I loved the intertwinedness of it. Mm. Uh, like everyone, none of them knew each other and yet they no. all connected. Yeah, everyone was in living in each other's pocket sort of thing in in South London, but they just didn't know of it, didn't know each other. Exactly. You know, loved it. Yeah, a few characters kind of annoyed me, you know, were like, a, like Taser really annoyed me for ages. His whole group of friends really annoyed me, but it made yeah. the it made the show. Yeah, and you didn't, his reveal didn't come until later on, right? No. So it was almost yeah. like he was a badass and all the others were kind of mixing around. But actually, he's like the worst. He's like the strongest. Yeah. Most, because he can pick anybody's things. Mm. Um, And so, yeah, and then I liked the do-over. Yeah. Obviously, then thinking, oh, no, it's going to be okay. He'll be able to, like, work it that out. Scene, and then obviously, it was that, worse. It, it, yeah, that end scene where he first, like, steals the speed powers yeah and literally tragic 
<laughs> oh, sorry, you're all gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this can't be happening. Uh... <laughs> no, Supercell was great. I'm looking for, you know, it was, uh, like I said, it was great. It did remind me of Misfits mixed with Top Boy. It is... Um, It'll be interesting to see the second se the second season. Yeah, and yeah, see where, because see where, they both touched upon what happens when they get taken, mm. and will they get taken, or is the the um the dad who yeah. was in prison and got out of prison, mm -hmm. um, is he going to be with the goodies? It, you know, I yeah, think yeah. he wants to be. Um, and yeah, it's so interesting, interesting that part of you know where you go into this this town or this part of. The, in those flats that look like one thing on the outside, you go through into this into the underworld, and it becomes a completely different place. Yeah, that was creepy. That, but you know, I mean, imagine that, you can imagine stuff like that. I'm in London now. I can imagine things like that existing. Mm. And I'm not kidding, but like Mike was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even if like I still would have just watched it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like. Damn. Yeah, he's a, he's a very handsome fellow. I just I was watching the um them at some awards recently, and you know, and he, he scrubbed up very well. Oh yeah, very good looking guy. Yeah. Um, whose powers would you rather have? Um, you know what? I'd take Michael's. The, the fact yeah. that he can tele teleport and freeze time and do all those sort of things. I liked the freezy time. Yeah. 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 And, and doing doing a quick do over. Other than that, I'd say invincibility wouldn't really. I wouldn't care, care about that. The super strength was cool. Yeah, the being able to the move stuff. Yeah, without the telekinesis touching. was great. And obviously, she hadn't flown, but he's yeah. seen her do it, so yeah. we know she gets better. Um, Speedy speed. was obviously like the Flash. We've seen that before, but yeah, yeah. I think yeah. If anything, I'd, I'd go with my uh, Michael's powers because mm. you know it, it, there's there's so much more elements and el things I could I could do with that. Yeah, and then. Also, bitch. Because yeah. like, you kind of knew something was wrong with her, right? Yeah. Like the owner of it. Because yeah, yeah. you were like, oh, she keeps looking at Michael. And I'm thinking like, oh my God, did she know? No, because yeah. then she would have tried to have got him. Yeah. But what a bitch. Mm -hmm. It's like her all along. Yeah. It's crazy, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a great story. Um, I'm looking forward to the next season and just see, you know, just to see what, see, just to see what they do with it. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want them to like, Go it doesn't to... need to go on forever, right? No. I'm happy if it's just a couple seasons. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to kind of if they closed it out in season two, based yeah. on they might be three seasons if it's popular. Yeah. This might be like the oh, it's very popular. They definitely all out. They've definitely commissioned season two, and then they have to kind of yeah, you know, close it out. So find yeah. it out, close it out. No, um, I think yeah, like too slapstick or too sort of generic sort of thing. Hopefully, it stays yeah, pretty. Um keeps the idea of the great soundtrack that goes along with it because the soundtrack definitely makes the show even a, a little bit better that's good i remember you saying that actually and i i think some of it bothered me as well like some yeah. of it really got to me like yeah, the noise cool. and stuff. i was yeah. like hmm, yeah. <laughs> i don't like it <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah sound a, a good a good soundtrack can really mm. intensify a scene can really which, you know, which, which, yeah. which they did really well all right, before the podcast tonight, I've mm -hmm. finished off Presumed Innocent. Uh, that's on Apple with Jake Gyllenhaal. I've heard apparently this is, twist. it's supposed Ooh. to be great. So good. So good. I love a courtroom drama. Um, so, yeah, really good. Did not see that coming at all. Mm. Even when they were trying to give you the twist, yeah, I was like, no, no. And then there's a twist on the twist. And then he's <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've heard somewhere about that presumed innocent is supposed to be like a, a banger. Really loved it. Yeah. Definitely yeah. watched that one. Um, I Sorry, a few more. Um, I watched Iron Claw. Iron Claw, yes. With um, with uh, Zac Efron. Zac Efron, yeah. Based on the, um, was, the Von Eric family. Sad. Yeah. Based on the Von Eric family. Sad. I actually yeah. wish I'd have read it before I watched it. Yeah. I assumed, you know, oh, sports movie, there'll be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And all it yeah. was was this horribleness of him losing all his brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so currently oh, there's a one one of the um, sons is currently in wrestling at the moment. He's, I think he's in I think he's wrestling in TNA at the moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's tragic. 
absolutely tragic. And I did not know that when I started watching it. Like I was saying to my sister how the parents were just, they were terrible parents. Mm -hmm. So the one good thing they did was make the brothers love each other. Yeah, super close. Genuinely yeah. super close, but so manipulative and to play them off. And the mother wasn't really there. Yeah. But they still managed to to get them to understand the importance of family. Mm. Dad was a knob um, and was trying to live his life through them. Yeah. Um, and the only thing, the only happy bit that I took from it um, was when he was first dating um, the girl. Yeah, yeah. Love her. That, that, love her. And that, 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 that was real love, that was. So, so cute. Um, she said to him, oh, so, you know, what do you want to do? And he's like, oh, I just want to spend all my time with my brothers. He said, and I I want to own a farm and then everybody can come and live there. Yeah. Um, and that is actually what happened. So yeah, and, and in the end they uh, end up changing like, uh, and then like 12 grandkids and they all lived and I was like, yeah. oh yeah, in the end, I think he didn't you know, he didn't want the kids to have their surname because he thought the surname was cursed. Oh, the curse. I actually yeah. changed it by depot. Yeah. It was honestly, I felt I cried, obviously. Mm, yeah. I felt so sorry for him. Um, yeah, really just heart wrenching movie. Yeah, very intense, <laughs> very intense, intense movie, but the fact that it's a true story as well makes it even more yeah. intense. And obviously being a, being a fan of wrestling, you know, that you know, was, you always heard about like the Von Eric mm. family. And um Yeah. But Difficult. I think I was by the time I was watching wrestling, I think they were like coming to the end of their career. Well, they obviously mm. their careers were ending for, due to certain things. Yeah. Um, two more. Yeah. I watched the Jetty, which is either on BBC or Channel 4. I think it's BBC iPlayer. Okay. Detective drama. Okay. King cracking twist. Okay. Absolutely brilliant reveal in the last <laughs> episode. Yeah. Did not see it coming at all. So, so good. Okay. The jetty. Um, Add that to this. recommend that. Yeah. The jetty. Um, and then I am halfway through exploding kittens. <laughs> 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 the recommendation I gave you. That's I haven't watched good. it yet, but um it's really funny. It's good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it delivered exactly what you said it was. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> obviously I, I proofed it beforehand to make sure there is no kittens actually exploding. Yeah. And you know, I'm I'm glad you, you you've got on board that. I'm gonna watch it as well, but yeah, it's uh really I thought I, I thought you'd enjoy something like that. Oh yeah, and it's not just God. Yeah. It's also Beelzebub that comes yeah, yeah. out from hell for not being bad enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I I've think I've done five. five okay. Six. Yeah, it's very good. This is just, I think it was, this is just the first season of it, isn't it? Because it's just yeah. come out. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Amazing. So <laughs> I'll be quick on what I've watched. Uh, I binge watched season seven of Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah. S still a good watch. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the... The most memorable. There's been other episodes, other seasons which have had like super memorable episodes. You know, this one just didn't hit the same sort of uh, hit the ground running like all the like the rest. Mm. So I don't know if it's a bit of a uh, tiredness with the episodes, but you know, I feel like sometimes there's only so much you can keep doing, right? Yeah, because they've, they've they've touched on so much things that that Rick can do. Mm. I feel like yeah. I think it could be a bit fatigue in regards to like what more can we do with this do with these characters? Yeah, and has Morty grown up at all? Not at all. Yeah, so, see, that, I, so... I think it then also makes it a little bit trickier if you're not going to move with him growing up. Yeah, so I think if they do another season, it might have to it should potentially have him have them Morty growing, yeah, growing more. Yeah, even just a couple years because there's quite yeah. a big difference. In... Oh, sorry, Daisy. Um, yeah. The difference between like early teens and a late teens kind of thing, you yeah. know. Yeah. So uh, not my favorite season so far, but you know, still a good watch. You are gonna have a little, a few, a few laughs. Yeah. Uh, other than that, we I, I've been binge watched the show on Netflix, One Piece. So One okay. Piece is is an anime that's been out for many many years. It is um, it's got like I think it's got like over a thousand episodes out there in oh, in the in, in the animation. Seems a lot to me. <laughs> yeah. But they have um, shortened it and made it into a live action TV show. So with about eight eight episodes on um, on Netflix, mm -hmm. it was good. I enjoyed yeah. it. It's very slapstick. It kind of reminds me of one of those Nickelodeon movies. 
in, 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 in parts, you know, you and or uh, sort of a mixture of. Did you, did you ever watch um, a series of unfortunate events? The uh, one, the one with a what's the actor from How I Met Your Mother? Um, the blonde haired one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. Because it's got because it's a funny name. Yeah. That's why. Let me have a look. Sean Patrick's is it Sean go, Patrick yeah. Scott? Yeah. Sure. Huh? Sean Patrick? Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick oh, I Harris. Mention, I? Yeah, I'm mixing him up with um the guy from uh American Pie. <laughs> I'm just mixing, oh. mixing names up. Oh <laughs> what the blonde guy from American Pie? Oh uh, no, Stifler. Yeah, he's Sean William Scott, isn't he? So I was oh, thinking, I was God, like, yeah, Sean sorry, Patrick, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so Neil Patrick Harris, yeah. In I love um, a series of unfortunate events. I, I think you'd enjoy it. Too. There's two seasons. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay. yeah, that's what. Yeah, One Piece kind of reminded me of that. Between a mixture of the, a, a Netflix, I mean, a Nickelodeon t kids TV thing, and like, like that. But you know what's going to happen. <laughs> It's very, very, very like over the top, mm. but a decent watch. And I've been yeah, to it. Yeah. There's eight episodes and I managed to binge all of them. So <laughs> it was a good little watch. All right. So let's do, we'll do one screenshot. Okay. Uh, we did have two, but we'll move one to next week. Which one do you want to go for? The first one or the second one I sent you? I think the first one will take longer. Yeah, yeah. So depending if you want more time for that one, then do the other one. <clears throat> All right, we'll do, we'll do the second one that I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> so this screenshot was, which movie made you go, what the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> oh. I haven't really had much time to think about it. I just sent it to you, but I do have... Oh, I my, did... my immediate reaction was Human Centipede, obviously. <laughs> That's got to be on everyone's list. <laughs> like, immediately. <laughs> yeah. Because even though I'd heard about it, right, everybody yeah. had said, they told me I didn't watch it right the time everybody else did. I was like, I don't know, a year later, I was like, oh, I'll just give it a go. How bad can it be? Yeah. It was fucking bad. <laughs> it was disgusting. It was disgusting. It was I will creepy. never forget the, the infected stitching. Oh. Yeah. And even though you don't, see stuff necessarily yeah, just yeah, the yeah. pure you imagining yeah. it yourself and thinking fucking hell i would much rather oh. be at the beginning yeah, even the though you feel sorry for the person yeah. behind you at least you know yeah the first one it. when he was like i'm sorry i can't hold it anymore exactly like, no. oh what do you imagine because like, most people would be sick at the same time yeah wait for it to go yeah oh yeah it was it was insane because I'm guessing because you can't even I'm guessing you can't even chew if you're the second one. So it's yeah, like I think you would really struggle because it's stitched so much. Yeah, I don't yeah. think there's much room. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. You would almost I think you would choke. Yeah. And you would actually die quite quickly. Oh yeah. I'm trying to remember the second one, could they use their hands? Because I'm thinking that I would just grab my own throat and choke myself till I'm Yeah. Till... <laughs> 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 yeah. I think second for most people. If you answer this question, if you see it, you know which which movie made you say what the fuck did I just watch? I think that'd be probably been like one of the highest on people's list. Yeah, and I don't um, watch horror films. Yeah, so I think there might be a few horrors in there for people. Yeah, I think for me, I'd say because I had a couple of hours. I put I put Hostel, the first Hostel for me. I was like, done it. Yeah, what is going on here? This is too real. Oh, okay. I thought when I watched Hostel, I thought this is this is could be happening. Mm. I don't. I'm, I don't know. Have you seen Hostel? I got another one. Uh, no, what? I have not. Okay. No, it's, that's <laughs> kind of like borderline knowing that I'm not going to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's creepy enough at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. So the other one in a different what the fuck? Yeah. More for my annoyance and my fucking anger at it. Yeah. Was the one with Mark Wahlberg, okay. whose kid goes missing. It's got Stanley Watts' face in it, and he basically builds that room underneath the cornfields, coaxes her down, fucking kills her. He, yeah. the, the 
sister works it yeah. out yeah. dad works it out but he gets rid and so although they know yeah still gets rid of her body in yeah. the fucking safe in the thing that's being filled in so they will never fucking find it and get that actual yeah. closure or get it back to bury her um I fuck it honestly I, it yeah, makes yeah. me angry now even you're making me, it's, giving, it's giving me prisoner's vibe oh dude yeah. I need to find it I need to find it it's such a good film um yeah, while you find it, there's two two others that I thought of. One, when I was about 15 to 14, we had a sleepover at my friend's house and someone wrote a film called The Granny. And that film freaked me out. Like, it was about this these group of friends, they're having a sleepover. Yeah. And they keep hearing these weird sounds in this house. And they go in, to investigate and they climb up in the loft. And as they open the loft hatch, there's an old woman sat there rocking on a chair and no one's ever seen this before no one knows she's up there even the person who owns she's the not. house she alive yeah and the way she scrambles across the floor oh, and yeah. chops the first person's head off was like what did she chop it off with uh well no she didn't stab chop his head off she had um knitting needles and stabbed them in the oh in the neck it was up it, it was insane I haven't been able to find this movie since. I would obviously probably never, never look for it again, but we were too young yeah. to watch that. You know, back when, back when Blockbuster, the guy just didn't, they had a young teenager who, who was working there and just didn't care who what films you took out. They should have said to us, don't do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. And then other than that, there was a film called The Fourth Kind. I still get nightmares about this movie now. Oh. So The Fourth Kind God, is a, when you watched it. Is like, a, uh, I think I was, no, it was probably in my 20s. And the fourth kind is based on a uh, alien abduction, but it's one of those okay. ones where it was based on true events, and they show the movie has two parts. So it shows the actors' side doing doing what you know part of the movie, and then they also show the real clips of what's happening what's happening at the time as well. Oh, I love it when they do that, and love the it part... when they show the real bit. Yeah, and the part where you know the oh, woman's wow. kid, the part where the woman's kid gets taken away, and there is no explanation for how this kid got out of the house. No, no explanation to this day how that kid left that house. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> and that was I watching this film, and I was like, "This is freaky. This is crazy." And then what was the other thing? Yeah, and obviously they show like this woman. Obviously, she's in a psychiatric ward because obviously she can't protect, process what's, what's happening. Yeah. And this woman's face, they show her in real life and obviously uh, the actor, the, obviously the action, her face completely distorts and changes shape throughout all this, all this was happening. Like it becomes long and gaunt and like her, almost like her bone structure changes. And then they show the, the real life that is what's happened to her sat there in a psychiatric, in, uh, being spoken to by the psychiatrist. And you know, it just blows your mind. God. That'd be too creepy to watch. Wow. <laughs> I found the movie. Oh, yeah? What is it? It's called The Lovely Bones. Oh, what a very, that's a, that's a very... It's such a good film, though. I don't, I can't, yeah. I, I would have thought it would have scored higher on um, IMDb, to be fair. But, yeah, yeah well, it's horribly sad, so you probably don't want to watch it. But um, yeah, that's, that's a very chilling name as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I again, I think because I keep myself away from. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'd, I'd say two. I'd say, I'd say two girls, one cup, but that's not really what we should talk about as a movie. Is it? <laughs> I'll be back. Um, <laughs> yeah. Although I didn't see it myself, <laughs> apparently, um, Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doolittle was appalling. And people got up and left the cinema. It was so bad. <laughs> it was pretty. It was. It was pretty bad. Yeah. I, I look back at it now. I don't know if I even looking at it then. It was teeth grindingly watchable. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you had anything else to do while you're watching it, you're like, oh, okay. I just thought of another one. You know, if I can get the name right. Um, so it was called The Lobster. Oh my god, Colin Farrell! Is, oh my god, I know about The Lobster. Someone told so me about it. I, I, will, I will not watch it. 
What is it so lobster? Good. Oh, so the lobster's like, so in the dystopian near future, according to the laws of the city, yeah. single people like myself yeah. are taken to the hotel where they are obliged to find a romantic partner in 45 days or they're transformed into beasts and sent off into the woods. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's did great. you think I meant the walrus? The walrus. Because I have not seen it. I fucking love Kevin Smith. Yeah. And, but I have heard people have gone, no. Yeah. Apparently, I've heard about it. Someone's told me about it in depth. And it sounds creepy and just mind boggling. Yeah. Apparently like Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. But with a walrus. Yeah. And it's absolute psychological like thriller. Yeah, I haven't done it because, again, I did feel, yeah, maybe not strong enough to. <laughs> yeah, I just know that. I just know a guy has so is so psychologically broken down and convinced that he's an animal. Mm. That is just, yeah, insane. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will probably never watch it. I heard enough about it and I'm like, yeah. Okay. I some... reckon ours are going to be really tame compared yeah, to other some people's. <laughs> So if you see this, guys, and follow this, just let us know in the comments <laughs> what's a film you watched that made you say, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap it there. Thanks for another one, Debs. Hope everyone enjoyed that. We'll be back again next week. Uh, follow us on all socials. And, uh, yeah, we'll... thanks for joining us. And let us know your top three Jason Statham movies, Terry. I know you're watching now. <laughs> <laughs> cool i wonder who we'll get next week all right yeah. everyone be good and if you can't be good be the best being bad bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.